This is a breakdown of the fourth episode of Breaking Bad. Cancer Man. Besides referring to Walt, this is a reference to an X-Files character. Breaking Bad creator Vince Gilligan started his TV career as a writer and producer of that show, and Brian Cranston, Aaron Paul, and Dean Norris all appeared in X-Files before Breaking Bad. At the DEA office, they discuss their missing informant, Domingo Giardo Molina, aka Crazy Eight. I love the way they cut to Walt when declaring, Thinking Albuquerque just might have a new kingpin. Marie, some more wine, maybe? I'm all right, thanks. All right. Hey, I want a beer. <laughs> yeah, I ain't having any either. I don't know if it was planned at this point, but this foreshadows the season two incident. Shh, honey, it's okay. What's the matter? <laughs> Ask him. Walt is forced to reveal his diagnosis. Walt? I have cancer. Which seems like an especially unfortunate way for Walt Jr. to find out. We should hide. A lawyer. Maybe Skyler has seen those Davis and Maine commercials about mesothelioma. I'll always take care of your family. Walt cares more about being the one to provide for his family than he does about his family being taken care of. The idea of getting help from his wealthier family members drives him nuts. I, I've, been, I've been thinking lately I'd just lay off of it for a while. Because lately it's been kind of making me paranoid, so... We get insight into Jesse's character as he's desperate for approval from anyone in his life. Yo, if you're, uh, if you're not in the share, man, just tell us to piss off. It's cool. We don't need no soap opera. I'm joking! Okay, I'm totally joking with you. It's a shame that neither of these ladies appeared in Better Call Saul, but I guess Sandpiper residents wouldn't be walking around here. Walt uses hydrogen peroxide and super glue on his wound, but doesn't think to use it on his pants. He should know this is a great way to remove blood stains. How much of a deposit? It's $5,000. The medical expenses are starting. I mean, we can always borrow from Hank. Absolutely not. Money is not the issue here. She's right. Between Hank, Gretchen, and Elliot, the expenses could have been taken care of in a normal way. When Walt grabs money that he hid in Holly's room to pay for the deposit, we see that the Whites did indeed get their crib from Tampico, Crazy Eight's dad's furniture store. At the bank, Walt encounters a jerk that we see is named Ken. He likes to show off, but his convertible stopped being produced in 1999, making this car at least nine years old. And this is the cheapest 3 Series convertible, so it appears Ken took the cheapest path to becoming a BMW driver. We cut to some nice family left wondering who these people are. Hey, so how was soccer practice? He drops his fork and food, but in the next shot the fork is magically back with no spilled food. It doesn't take long to find out who this family is. Who's there? Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. These are real childhood photos of Aaron Paul. What do you think it could be? Jesse's parents don't know what to do. They love Jesse and worry about him, but don't want to enable him. I don't know. Uppers, downers. We are not doing this again. Adam. No. We said we'd lay down the law. We lay down the law. Jesse's brother Jake is a distinguished mathlete, an accomplished musician, and won an Environmental Consciousness Award. Right on, little bro. Making mad inroads with the business community. Jesse is supportive, but also jealous of the love and attention he gets from his parents. I'm the favorite. Although it turns out that Jake feels the same way. Practically all they ever talk about. So what do you say? Jesse is able to sell the rest of their products. I'll buy everything you got. And goes to Walt's house to give him his share of the money, although he doesn't explain that and Walt is suspicious. What the hell are you doing here? Huh? Hey. We're in a wire? Jesus. You're setting me up? Seriously, I got... Dudes, that would give their left nut for a little more. Get the hell off my property. What? I'm Go. just saying. And don't come back. Four grand. Your share from selling that batch. That's why I'm here. Maybe he should have led with the money. While cleaning Jesse's room, a joint is discovered. This causes Jesse's parents to kick him out. We are not going to have this in our house. We need you to leave. Then we get another surprise reveal. Thanks for not telling on me. You think I could have it back? Skylar puts all her energy into arranging Walt's treatment. You know, this is actually very hopeful. They've rearranged the furniture a bit since the pilot. Did Hank really tilt the TV so the birthday party crowd could see him better? Skylar say that there is a way. And we spend all that money. Am I supposed to leave you with all that debt? Maybe treatment isn't the way to go. Then why don't you just fucking die already? This is eerily close to Walt Jr.'s final lines in the series. Just give up and die. 
The episode ends with Walt crossing paths with Ken again, and Walt deciding to take out his frustrations on him. In real life, New Mexico only provides rear license plates. And in this car, the battery is actually in the back. Shout out to my channel members, thanks for your continued support and thanks to everyone who has been watching, liking, and subscribing. I'm still going to be sprinkling in different topics in between episode breakdowns. This might happen next week, so stay tuned.